Hey everyone, it's Naya. Today I'll be filming a what's in my uni bag. I uploaded a poll on my Instagram and a lot of you guys were curious to see what's in my bag. Honestly, I didn't think it would be that interesting. But since you guys are curious, I will be filming this video today. I'm worried that my camera might die, so I'm gonna go through it now. Um, so if you guys don't already know, I study architecture. I do interior architecture at UTS. I tend to have to bring a lot more things to uni, but it also depends on the day. I'll break it down for you. I go to uni three days a week. I go Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I mean, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. Um, on Tuesday, I don't really have to bring as many things. I always have to bring my laptop on Wednesdays. And then on Fridays is like studio day. So I usually end up just bringing my supplies and not like the usual stuff that I have here. But I'm just gonna go over what I bring on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, kind of. And I also usually bring things based on the weight of it, because I also live pretty far. I commute an hour to uni. So I need to make sure that I have everything for the day, because it's so far away. But then I also don't want to be carrying too much stuff. But yeah. Anyways, so this is the bag that I bring. It's this like brown tote bag that I got from Charles and Keith when I was in Thailand but I'm pretty sure you can buy it off their website as well but yeah it just looks like this I'm wearing my pajama pants so don't even worry about that we'll start off with my biggest item in here which is my laptop this is it this is my MacBook I've had this since I was in year 9 so 2019 yeah I've had this since 2019 it's MacBook Pro yeah, I've had to get it repaired a few times, but it works and yeah. Sometimes I do use the computer labs at uni though, so just because the screen's bigger. But I still got like my stickers on here and everything. Sometimes I bring my iPad as well. I have the iPad, the iPad Air. I use my iPad to sketch and take down notes, but I don't bring it all the time. Yeah, sometimes I bring it instead of my laptop. And then sometimes I just bring my laptop and then sometimes I bring both. It really depends on the day, really. Next I have my pencil case. It's this Moomin pencil case that I got from this store in Thailand. I have my box cutter and craft knife and <laughs> pens and pencils. I also have tweezers in here just really random supplies because I need this for like model making yeah I usually bring this for my communications class because that's about drawing and using programs and whatnot otherwise I just sketch on my iPad usually next I have my sketchbook sometimes I bring my sketchbook and then sometimes I bring my iPad Again, it depends. But yeah, this is the moleskin dotted grid one. Yeah, pages like that. Yeah, this is when I had to measure my door. So just a little insight. Uh, when I had to measure my living room as well. Oh, some sketches I did for this like nature class. And then I also have some stickers. This one is a fairy radish. And then the one at the back, I got this from a cafe. And then there's Judy Hops as well. Which also, which came with my bag when I bought it. Because I bought it around Lunar New Year's. And Charles and Keith was having like a collab with Zootopia. So then I gave you like a free sticker thing with it. But yeah. It's that. Yeah, for the, the front stuff is my communications and then in the back is my studio sketches sorry my dog is snoring so um next i have my two chargers so this one's my portable charger again i got from thailand it looks like a camera but like yeah there's two cables there's a usb-c one and then the one for your phone i don't know what it's called but it's also wireless at the front here but I don't know how to activate it, like sometimes it will work and then sometimes it just doesn't work so usually I just take this out and just plug my phone in there if I don't bring it, it's I have to go home, like I can't be going out with a dead phone and then this is my like cable charger 
yeah, very interesting. <laughs> that, or the, let's put it in this pouch. My reading glasses. I have, I'm short-sighted. Is that the word? Yeah. I can't see far. So if I'm in a lecture or just in a classroom, I usually can't see the board, like the writing on the board if I don't wear my glasses. It's not that bad, but it's usually just for lectures. This is the Ray-Bans. I wear them all the time. I've had them for who knows how long. I should probably get some new ones, but that's what they look like. Um, I am short-sighted. Like my right eye can't see as far as my left eye. This is very TMI, but just in case you wanted to know. Yeah, my vision's not that bad, but like, I might be able to see the writing on the board if I don't wear it. Continuing on with the eyewear. I have my sunglasses. I recently bought these. These are Gentle Monster dupes from AliExpress. The seller, when they sent me the package, wrote, oh, don't post photos, blah, 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 on the reviews. So I'm not gonna link the shop that I bought it from. But if you search up Gentle Monster on AliExpress, it should show up. The packaging's pretty cool. I don't think this is the same like case that comes with the actual, the original one. Like, I think the case is meant to be white or something, but it doesn't matter because the glasses look perfectly fine. These are, they're the ghost dupes. That's what they look like. I bought these sunglasses because as an architecture student, you usually have to bring a lot of supplies. So I'm bringing, I'm like carrying this giant box board and like my model. I'm always carrying something. And for some reason, it's like kind of embarrassing to bring so much stuff, especially when I'm on the train. And I'm just like this teenage girl with all this stuff that I shouldn't really have to be carrying. But when I put on my sunglasses, I feel like it's, no one can see me. So it's like a shield. So I like to wear my sunglasses quite a lot. I used to not like to wear sunglasses because I thought it, it would make me look a bit rude. But now I just, I couldn't really care less. <laughs> I know some people are like hardcore against dupes, but sorry to tell you, I have fake sunglasses. Okay, next thing I have is my mouse. It's the Logi Logitech Pebble. If you're doing architecture, or design, if you're using like any programs, definitely use it, like buy yourself a mouse. It would make your work like 10 times faster. And it also won't strain your wrists as much using the touchpad if you have a mouse, yeah. When I use it for a long period of time though, it does kind of hurt my wrist cause the design's not like ergonomic, but it was $50 and it gets me through, so yeah. And it's a bit quieter as well. Yeah. I was gonna buy a pink one, but I have a Logitech like wireless keyboard and it's white so I thought I'd have to match. Next thing is my wallet. Very essential. It's from Charles and Keith. I got this at Changi Airport. It was $20, which is really good. Yeah, I just have my credit card, my ID. I'll show you my ID photo because I got it like professionally taken for fun. This was back when I had more disposable income, so I wouldn't do it now. Where is it? There we go. <laughs> yeah, it's very nice, very compact. The key here doesn't actually open anything, but yeah, it's very cute. I like the color as well. I have my makeup pouch. It's this pouch, like this velvet pouch from Dior. My mum gifted me this like eyelash this eyelash mascara set for Christmas last year and it came in this cute pouch so I just decided to use it and inside I have my earphones I usually like to use my earphones more than my airpods these days um I don't really know why I just do my airpods which I've had since the beginning of time and then pads because I'm a girl um I have some band-aids in here and then lip Balm. Won't leave the house without any lip balm. That's like, I'd immediately go home. I have some lip tints, more lip products, and some Panadol in case. But yeah, that's my pouch. Yeah, usually when I go to uni, I'm out basically the whole day, so I want to make sure that I have things that I need. Final thing, I have my ruler. This is the, this is a metal ruler that I got from the print shop downstairs 
of my uni building. Yeah, it was like four dollars as well, and it's got cork on the back so it doesn't slip. Um, but yeah, just to cut it and whatnot. My camera battery is about to die. Um, oh, let me quickly wait. I have my drink bottle, which I usually fill up to halfway and then fill up the rest at uni. I usually like to buy food when I'm there just because it takes up too much space in my bag and I don't like having like warm food in my bag as well. It makes me feel really weird. And then I also have a book. Sometimes I bring this around, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I read on my phone, but sometimes I'm staring at my screen too much that I want to read. So I usually bring Animal Farm, which I bought ages ago but I've barely gotten through it. I know, it's kind of funny to me, I don't know. But yeah, it's about animals on a farm that take over the farmer or something. Yeah, I don't know, I haven't really gone into it. But yeah, um, that's it for my video today. I hope you guys enjoyed. My camera is about to die soon so I have to end this video off quickly. I will try to film some more uni content. The next semester i've just been kind of busy trying to adjust to uni life hope you guys enjoyed <laughs> bye